Welcome to the Adobe Admin Console video on Shared Device Licensing. In this video, we will discuss what Shared Device Licensing is and how to customize Shared Device Licensing deployment, track license activation, and recover licenses. Shared Device Licensing manages Adobe applications in labs and shared device setups, where multiple users access the devices and applications. The license is assigned to a computer instead of an individual, and when a shared device license package is installed on a lab machine, it is automatically registered and activated. Package creation is covered in the Creating and Managing Packages video. Shared device licensing doesn't require you to assign licenses to students. IT admins create packages and deploy the apps to the computers. When users launch an application on a shared device, they're prompted to sign in with their credentials and reminded to sign out when they have finished working. Users should not store any assets on the shared device. A shared device license does not directly entitle a user to access any services such as storage, libraries, fonts, or Adobe stock. However, if the user account has these entitlements, these services are available. Shared device licensing moderates user access through identity, access policy, egress IP addresses, and associated machines. You can combine these options to prevent unauthorized use of the applications. Admins can set up enterprise or federated IDs for tighter control on who can access the apps. To use these IDs, you must first set up identity, which is discussed in the Setting Up Identity in Single Sign-On video. If you plan to deploy shared device licenses to multiple labs, you can map each lab to a different product profile in the admin console. For users without a school account, you can create a profile for labs which are unrestricted. Another profile can be for labs with users who have a school account. Also, you can restrict access to the applications installed in these labs based on the access policies defined for the corresponding profiles. Navigate to the Products tab and create a new profile or click on an existing one. Select the Permissions heading and edit the following device configurations. User Access Policy determines who can access Adobe apps and services on the device. Open Access enables anyone with valid credentials to access the apps on a shared device. Users can sign up for a free Adobe ID and use that to access the apps. Use Organization User Only to limit access to users you have added to the admin console. These users could be any ID type that is supported on the admin console. Choose Enterprise slash Federated Users Only to restrict access to only enterprise users, preventing access to users signing in with Adobe IDs. The Egress IP section allows you to specify IP addresses or ranges that determine which devices can access Adobe applications. Once this is set, shared device license computers can only connect from within the defined ranges. Edit associated machines to organize which devices can access Adobe apps based on their organizational unit, IP address range, or the package deployed. Selecting by Microsoft Active Directory organizational units associates all machines that belong to a listed organizational unit with a product profile. Pick by LAN IP address range to ensure that all machines within the listed LAN IP address ranges are associated with a product profile, or choose by installed package to ensure that all machines within the selected package are associated with the product profile. Once packages are created in the Packages tab, they will be displayed here. Another feature within a product profile is the Activated Device Report, which lists the currently activated shared device licensed machines. To download the report, choose Create Report from the menu in the upper right corner of the product profile. You may want to recover licenses that you deployed on your devices if there are situations like a machine is inoperable, you plan to retire an old computer, or you want to repurpose a machine and reuse it outside of a lab or a classroom. To recover a license from an inoperable device, choose Recover Licenses, which will reset the licenses of all computers mapped to that product profile. Once users sign into Adobe on each of these devices, the machines still in use are immediately relicensed. To recover licenses from devices you still administer, you can use the Shared Device Licensing Toolkit to deactivate a single license or all the licenses on the machine. Information on the Shared Device Licensing Toolkit is linked to this video, along with guides describing how to customize Shared Device License deployment and deactivate Shared Device Licenses.